What's happening everybody? Logan Kidder back. Today I got something I think is super special. Um, turkey season in May comes for me at a difficult time of the year because May tends to be really nice weather. Um, things at work really pick up. You know, once the ground dries out, I work construction, so we're out working, getting full speed, coming out of the winter. Things pick up at the farm. Um, we're starting all our projects that we want to do, you know, while we've got good weather to work in the spring and the summer, because obviously can't get much done up here in New York in the winter. So I don't normally get a ton of time, but this year I definitely want to dedicate some more time to turkey hunting. It's been a while since I've actually gotten after it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do what I can to get out there every weekend, maybe some <clears throat> early mornings. We can only hunt till noon, so I can't really do any afternoon hunts, but so be it. Um, so to get to the point, I ordered from Meat Eater a limited edition turkey call. Now, this is the limited edition line one pot call or slate call or whatever. There's so many different names. So they call it the line one. If you go on the Meat Eater website, they have a whole video about why this is a special edition. Basically, they started the project. They found a tree that they wanted to build calls out of. They cut the tree down. They cut another one down to build the strikers out of. And this video shows you the whole process. Basically, from a standing tree to a finished box call. I haven't even watched the video yet because I wanted to watch it once I had the turkey call in my hands. <clears throat> so... Went online, ordered it, got here in about, I don't know, four, I think it was four days. So, came relatively quick. Gonna go ahead and pop this box open and see what we got. Um, I was super excited that they did this with a pot call because that is primarily the main call that I use. Um, they're kind of a mid-range for volume between a box call and a mouth call. And there's just there's so much range on them you can do so much different stuff with them make all the different calls you need to make all with one call so that's why i like them so go ahead and pop this thing open mediator sticker sweet packing slip that's cool Go ahead and ditch that box. Line one, Stephen Ranella, Jason Phelps, limited edition turkey call. That is a sweet box to send it in. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this thing. I believe it should slide. Oh man, here we go piece of tape down here on the bottom oh look at that they've got magnets in here so you can keep it in this box when you're not using it if you decide to use it open her up <clears throat> go ahead and pull the foam out wow that's nice so, it's going to be hard to hold everything. That there is the pot. Beautiful glass surface on there. I don't know if I'm going to bring myself to use this. I'm going to want to keep it as a display. Beautiful glass surface for making your sounds. The rest of the pot, I believe they said is made of black walnut. You got the line one badge down there on the bottom. It's got Steve and Jason Phelps name on there. <clears throat> this is awesome craftsmanship. You can see the grain and the wood that they left. Oh, and this is another thing. Now, I'm a big follower. I listen to their podcast. I watch their TV show. I, I'm all about Meat Eater. Um, they made, I believe, they had 1,400 um, 
roughly. But again, their podcast will have the exact number. Looks like I ended up with number 170 from the Line 1 series. Go ahead and pull the striker out. Now that is a cool striker. Again, it's got the Line 1 emblem on there. It's a beautiful striker. Now, they said they use Osage Orange wood for the striker. Um, obviously, not a black walnut, different kind of wood. But that's just a really pretty grain, really pretty colors in there. A lot of craftsmanship went into that. And it looks like they went ahead and sent you your own stone for scratching up the surface and calling. If you've never used a pot call before, um, normal practice is you take either a stone like that or a piece of sandpaper, you sand yourself a spot on the pot call there, and then you take your striker and you run your striker on the pot to make the noises that you want to make. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be taking this out in the woods with me. At least not this year. It's a nice freaking call. Really nice. I've got plenty of calls I can use. I think I'm going to add this to my collection and put it on display here in my hunting room because it's just that freaking cool. Everything from the box to the obviously the call itself is beautiful. Um, just that black walnut, the grain, the coloring. The finish on it, everything. It's awesome. Well, there it is. That is the Line 1 Turkey Call from Meat Eater. This is, I guess, the unboxing of it. Um, I tried looking it up on YouTube before I even bought it, and there was no videos on YouTube about it yet. So I figured I'd go ahead and make one and throw it up since turkey season's right around the corner for us. And... Uh, show you guys what you might be getting if you decide to buy one for yourself. Um, I just got mine right off MeatEater.com. They got their own store there. Easy enough. Alrighty guys, well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. And uh, to see more videos like it, hit the subscribe button. Obviously I'll be out in the turkey woods here in the next couple of weeks and uh, I plan on shooting quite a bit of video out there and hopefully I get lucky and we knock one down. So, alrighty guys, I'll catch you later.